Hi. Now in a video a while back I did a sort of basic review and test of one of these little USB power monitors. Now this one is branded KEWEISI. Um, I'm not even going to bother trying to pronounce that so that's what it is. And uh, somebody left a comment on my video of this and was asking how reliably does it measure current across the different voltage ranges. Now of course this is primarily a USB device, it's designed just for plugging in to something and then plugging your phone in or something else to uh, check that you're getting the required voltage and current that the uh, your device says that it's capable of uh, pulling off it. This operates between 3 volts and 9 volts so if you have a modern phone with a smart charger that supports the uh, sort of Qualcomm's uh, is it fast charge or quick charge? There's two different ones. There's um, another one which is a charge pump system. So that will often pump the voltage um, higher than 9 volts so this wouldn't be able to measure it on something like that. It would be interesting to see if it does actually maintain a sort of accurate-ish uh, current reading. We're not looking at the microamps here or the milliamps particularly, we're just looking for rough ballpark figures between what this is saying and what the uh, other equipment here is saying. So I've got the power supply, it's currently set at 5 volts 1 amp. I'll need to boost the uh, current up a bit if we want to test it above 1 amp. I've got a DC clamp meter here, for those that want to know it's a Unity UT210E and I've got me Unity UT61E multimeter as well. That's currently set on milliamp range. This doesn't have any other ranges apart from amps. I wanted to put it on milliamp range because at first I wanted to see how much current this actually draws in standby. So when this is just because it's self powered, so obviously it's going to take a bit of current and that's going to affect the uh, your reading slightly, I'm sure. Power supply is hooked up to an old USB extension lead which I've just chopped in half. Multimeter is obviously in line with that and the clamp meter is just clamped around the uh, positive there. So if we turn on the power supply we can see this unit has now come on. So it's reading 4.86 volts. Power supply is saying 5. There's going to be a bit of a voltage drop but I have noticed that this does tend to um, under read very slightly on the voltage and as you can see the current that's drawing is 6.294 milliamps and uh, the clamp meter there you see is saying about 5 milliamps so that's not going to be highly accurate at all at this kind of uh, low range. So for testing I thought I'd just use one of these little USB dummy loads this should be quite happy to go up to 9 volts um, if I blow it up it doesn't really matter the only thing I'm going to blow is the LED the resistors are pretty beefy on here so we power the unit back on again and I will switch this one over to amps 10 amp range otherwise that will go overload okay so we can see now there's very similar readings we've got that's 6 milliamps on that, 6 milliamps on that. So we plug this in, it's set to 1 amp. According to the power supply, we're drawing 725 milliamps. We can see we got 710, 11 on that. Oops. Careful where you press it. Um, 699, 700 on that. What is this reading? close enough. 730. So that's reading slightly high in comparison to what we're getting on that. So we just try that on the 2 amp range. So that's reading 1.25 amps and we're actually getting 1.16 on that, 1.14 on the other one. So for first note, this is definitely reading high, a lot higher than it should be. Um, yeah, it's not ideal, we're looking at about 100 milliamps difference there. I don't know if I noticed that last time, um, but that's worth noting. So we would put it back down to 1 amp on here, 
so 70 730 milliamps and we got 700 on there and about 700 on there so what we're going to do now is just change the voltage on this so I'm going to put this up put this down first to 3 well there's a problem it's rated for 3 volts but it can't power this device at 3 volts so we can see the current we're actually drawing 400 milliamps at the minute but this is not powering up at all take it out that powers up so if we try something that should draw a bit less low this is a uh, little bitcoin mining thing that's uh, I don't know why I still got it lying around it doesn't work but we're uh, just plug that in and yeah that definitely is faulty because that won't draw anything at all so that was a bit of a fail um, I haven't got anything to hand immediately it's going to draw a lot less than uh, what this is so you'll have to bear in mind that if you were trying to measure something at 3 volts then you're going to need uh, to be putting a lot less current off it it certainly can't do 1 amp let alone uh, 3 amps at that voltage range so plug that back in that's gone off again so bring it back up to 5 volts so back at 740 on there 723 and you see the clamp meter there at 712 so if we boost the voltage up 6 volts 920 milliamps on that 880 on that so that's probably in line uh, we have obviously got this kind of offset where they are reading this is certainly reading high so what we're looking at is if it goes suddenly obviously massively different then we've got a problem so 7 volts 1.08 amps got 1.03 1.01 on the uh, clamp meter there 8 volts 1.25 amps on here you can see here that the voltage dropped down to 6.33 that saying it's still supplying 8 and I expect it is, I expect we may be having issues now with this actually reading the voltage we've got 1.17 on there and 1.15 on that one so we can go one step higher to 9 volts and it's boosted our voltage up there 7.13 volts drawing 1.43 amps into the device and the multimeter showing 1.33 so it's roughly in line with how much it is out so I would certainly say current measurements on this are pretty accurate it doesn't seem to vary massively uh, with the higher voltage obviously we saw that issue with the lower voltage that's reasonably fine what I'd be concerned about is if this was like you know 1.4 amps and this was 1.1 amps then of course we're massively out but for the tolerances that this has got uh, that's perfectly acceptable that's not a problem at all interesting to know that the voltage reading is wrong on this I have noted that if you actually take a load off this the voltage will go up and its maximum it reads is 8.89 it doesn't seem to ever go any higher than that so that is kind of it says 9 volts that cuts off at that but if you push the voltage up higher got 8.99 now that's at 14 oops a bit too high it's 12 volts there that's pushing it a bit it won't read 12 volts at all so it should also be noted of course that with all of this cabling there is going to be a voltage drop that is going to cause instruments like this to be reading slightly under so it may be that this isn't actually reading that much higher than it should be it's just literally because we've got the cables on the uh, multimeter I've got the cables coming from the power supply and uh, other little spindly cables here and there so what was concerning me was that voltage reading so I'm going to check that with the multimeter so I've taken the multimeter out of the circuit now and that's on volts as you can see so we'll power the unit back on again at 9 volts and press that to reset right that's reset and um, we're currently reading 8.88 volts which is slightly annoying because I thought at first the thing had frozen 
Uh, yes, right, so we get this plugged in. It's getting a bit hot now. Okay, so with that plugged in, 7.21 volts is what that's reading. Hopefully you can see that there if I position that in the right place. So 7.24 volts at the minute on that. So let's actually just get our multimeter across the uh, power supply cables and see what they're actually uh, saying we've got. 8.94, you can see 8.94 volts there. So that's definitely far too low. I'm just gonna shut that back off again. So yeah, we can certainly conclude from this that the current readings over a varied, what well, the voltage range it does, apart from going down below five volts, are pretty accurate. Not a problem with that. Voltage, no. That's definitely, that was way off. And um, that was over sort of one volt, about one and a half volts out of uh, what we're actually, uh, what's actually going into it. So I hope you found that video useful. That was just, say, a sort of follow on video as somebody uh, did ask whether or not it did read the current accurately. And yes, it does. That's not a problem. Voltage, not so much. So if you're using one of these to measure voltage, uh, don't go above 5 volts, just use it primarily on 5 volt devices and leave it at that. But if you found that video useful please give it a thumbs up, that helps massively. Please subscribe if you've not already subscribed and to help support me in making new videos visit my website, there's a link on there to Patreon and it would be really great if a few of you wanted to sign up and help support me in purchasing new products to tear down, do reviews on and that sort of thing. I'll see you soon for the next video. Cheers.